We all have at least one animal or creature that we are extremely grossed out or scared of, mine being snakes. Some movies take that fear to the next level and love bringing out the fear with huge scary monsters. This list is going to be 10 of the best creature feature horror movies of the last 25 years. There will be no spoilers throughout this video so you do not have to worry about the endings being ruined. I will list the timestamps for each movie in the description below, and also will list the streaming services the movies are offered on if they are. With that being said, here we go. Number 10. Jeepers Creepers 2. 2003. Could have done the original Jeepers Creepers movie that was released in 2001, but in the sequel we get to see much more of the creeper up close and it is in many more scenes. For those that don't know, the creeper is an ancient bat-like human creature that feeds on the body parts of humans to regenerate his own body with those same parts. The creeper gets to feed for 23 days every 23 years and after the 23 days are over, he goes into hibernation for 23 years until that spring arrives. In the first movie, the creeper prayed and stalked a brother and a sister and ended up eating the eyes of the brother in the end. In the sequel here, a high school basketball team that had just won a state title is driving on their bus back to their hometown whenever the creeper pops multiple tires on the bus and everyone on the bus is left stranded for the creeper to pick out who he wants and what body parts to eat. How many deaths will the creeper snatch in this one? Number 9. Anaconda's The Hunt for the Blood Orchid 2004 Another sequel on this list is the 2004 thriller Anaconda's Hunt for the Blood Orchid which is a sequel to the 1997 film Anaconda which followed a giant man-eating anaconda who tortured a boat floating down the Amazon River for days. In the sequel, a scientific expedition sets out for the island of Borneo to search for a flower named the Blood Orchid. Reports say that this flower can lead to a longer life as if it is a fountain of youth flower. But what they find inhabiting the rainforest of Borneo are a group of anacondas that seem to be rather aggressive than normal. But they aren't ordinary snakes. The blood orchid made the anacondas longer, faster, and smarter. Now the scientists must find a way out of the rainforest by outsmarting, outrunning and outliving the giant anacondas. The man leading the expedition will not let them leave until they find the sacred flower, as it blooms only once every seven years and his decision-making may cost him and his crew their lives. Number 8 Meg to the Trench. 2023. Man I just keep using sequels on this list don't I? Meg 2 is a sequel to the 2018 movie Meg which followed Jason Statham as Jonas who went head to head with a giant prehistoric shark known as the Megalodon and came out alive. When a shady corporation's illegal mining operation disturbs the ocean's mysterious seabed, veteran deep sea rescue diver Jonas Taylor and a research team unearthed terror beyond imagination that was living down beneath the ocean floor. Five years after the horrific first encounter with the unstoppable Megalodon in the Meg, Jonas must now face a ferocious old enemy for the second time, and this time it is going to be more than one shark. But the ocean floor still harbors even more prehistoric fish species along with the Megalodon that have now been set free to terrorize our oceans. Jonas must find a way to kill these giant prehistoric fish before they upset the ocean food chain for good. Number 7. Crawl. 2019. This here is a movie that doesn't feature giant scary monsters as the creature feature, but it features just your everyday alligators that you would see in the swamp lands of Florida. Competitive swimmer Haley is worried about her father after he won't answer her phone calls while there is a giant hurricane taking place in her hometown. Concerned, Haley makes a two-hour drive from college to her parents' house where the hurricane is wiping everything out. Haley eventually finds her father in the crawl space below the house where he had been badly injured by an alligator and can barely move his body. Haley tries grabbing him and bringing him upstairs, but the water is quickly rising in the crawl space, but that's not even their main concern at the moment. A few pretty big alligators have swam into the crawl space because the water is so deep and the only thing keeping the alligators and Haley separated is a metal pipe going through the crawl space. Haley must find a way to get her and her father to the stairs on the other side or else they will drown in the crawl space due to how high and fast the water is rising from the Category 5 hurricane. Number 6. The Descent. 2005. In this creepy thriller that takes place in an underground cave system, six best friends from high school embark on a mission going cave exploring as their annual outdoor adventure they do every year with one another. The girls all meet up and are having a great time with one another and have fun exploring the cave for a few hours. Eventually though, the girls become tired and are ready to head back and call it a day, but then a rock collapses above them and their tunnel access is now blocked and they do not know how to get out. The girls will have to find a different way to exit the cave and as they are panicking doing this, they notice that they are not alone down in the cave system. 
viciously stalking them are little humanoid monster creatures that will feast on their flesh, and these creatures know the cave system better than anyone. The girls will be in a race to escape the cave alive, but not all of them will be that lucky, if any of them are. And what's the backstory on these scary-ass creatures? I sure am never going cave exploring again after watching this. Number 5. Slither. 2006. A meteorite brings a malevolent, sentient extraterrestrial parasite to Earth. The parasite enters the town of Wilsey, South Carolina, where it infects wealthy resident Grant by taking over his body and absorbing his mind. With the alien now in control of him and all of his motor functions, Grant begins to transform into a grotesque, tentacle monstrosity creature. He also abducts and infects a local woman, Brenda, to serve as a breeder for his alien larvae he plans to take over the humans of the world with. His wife Starla becomes suspicious over the changes in his appearance and behavior, leading to Grant attacking her unprovoked. When the police arrive to rescue Starla, Grant flees before they can catch him. As Grant continues his disastrous transformation, the town will be forced to work together to take him down before he infects everyone they know. Can the town banish this parasite alien for good? Number 4. The Void. 2016. It seemed that this was going to be just another uneventful night when, all of a sudden, Deputy Danny Carter notices a man drenched in blood crawling in the middle of the road. As Carter takes the wounded victim to the nearest hospital run by a stripped-down overnight staff with limited resources, more and more, cryptic cloaked disciples of an ancient cult encircle the place, preventing anyone from getting out. But inside this dangerous ill-lit maze, a frightening nightmare secretly resides, yearning to creep into the realm of the living before the graveyard shift ends. Now, the new gateway to the very bowels of a perpetual dark dimension awaits. Is there an escape from the black void of the cosmos? Carter will discover that the depths of the hospital go a lot further down than just the cement floors. There is a gateway to a different dimension and creatures hiding below. Number 3. The Mist. 2007. In this one, we don't get to see much of the creatures as their appearances is pretty hidden throughout the movie, but we do understand what they are capable of and where they hide. Project Arrowhead, a military experiment gone wrong has opened an interdimensional rift setting loose unthinkable creatures in the town of Maine. After a storm rips through Maine, local Hollywood artist David Drayton, played by Thomas Jane, his son Billy, and their next-door neighbor drive into town for supplies. Whilst at the supermarket, shoppers are alerted by the presence of military convoys. Emergency vehicles the town's emergency siren goes blaring off. Shortly after the town is engulfed by a thick mist, it becomes apparent that this is no ordinary fog, barricaded in the supermarket for days on end. Frightened shoppers fight for survival against the horrific creatures that lurk just outside, unaware that perhaps the biggest monster is already among them. David knows that at some point they are going to have to face the creatures face to face as they will not be able to hide in the supermarket forever. Could the creatures have a weakness that David and the military could expose? Number 2. Eight-Legged Freaks. 2002. I think it's pretty obvious the creatures that are going to be tormenting the characters in this one as how many creatures and animals actually have eight legs. After a long absence from the area, Chris McCormick, played by David Arquette, returns to his quiet hometown of Prosperity, Arizona, to reopen his late father's minds in memory of his legacy. However, a chemical spill and lethal toxic waste have created an unstoppable army of giant spiders who prey on the unsuspecting locals, turning Prosperity into an endless buffet for the huge, disgusting bugs. Now, it's up to Chris Sheriff Sam Parker her son Mike Sam's plucky daughter, Ashley the conspiracy theorist, Harlan and a handful of survivors to stop the hairy menace, and save the town. But who can stand in the way of the disgusting eight-legged freaks? I can barely handle small spiders, can't imagine having to face King Kong-sized spiders. How would you handle it? Number 1. A Quiet Place. 2018. The story of the young Abbott family is told starting on day 89 of their ordeal. Unaware if anyone else on earth is still alive besides them, they have to remain as silent as possible under most circumstances which means no speaking, to evade deadly and seemingly indestructible armored creatures which track their targets solely by sound and which have led to the abbot's solitary existence. This existence is made all the more difficult for eldest offspring Reagan in being deaf and thus unable to gauge the issue of sound, which is why father, Lee, is constantly trying to devise ways to upgrade her cochlear implant if only for her survival. Under these circumstances, the family tries as best it can to lead as normal a life as possible with devised safeguards to protect them despite anything that may happen to them potentially to throw them off this routine of somewhat normalcy and survival. Through this ordeal, 
They also try to learn as much as they can about the deadly creatures in the hope of someday being able to destroy them to regain their regular lives. For parents Lee and Evelyn, the first priority is protecting the children at all costs, which the children may not always see or understand especially concerning the Day 89 incident. Will they learn what the creatures are there for and hopefully find a way to kill them? Well that is it for this one. Obviously there are hundreds of good creature feature horror movies, but this is just 10 of my favorite ones. Any other great ones to recommend? Thanks for watching.